Hey guys, uh, doing my quick uh, review of Sniper Elite, the series, and uh, here's my take. Help me! I am nothing like you. I remember who I killed. my second time doing this damn camera froze on me right in the middle of it I was almost done too but uh as you can see from the previous clip that's pretty much what uh this series is all about sniper elite series you're just a badass sniper going around smoking everybody from far away or up close so uh, some quick uh yeah, info on the series I actually got some notes uh, Sniper Elite series came out 2005 on the PS2, Wii, and Xbox. I did some. I did order the PS2 uh, version. I don't remember seeing it out a whole lot back in those days. I remember seeing the Wii U, the Wii one a lot. Um, didn't play it. Don't have any desire to play it. It's got the whole waggle controls. Why well, that look weird? But anyway, um, then you had Sniper Elite SV2. Came out 2012, I think, for the PS3, Wii U, Xbox 360. And then later it came out for the Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. Um, just heads up, I played all these games on Xbox One. Sniper Elite 3 Africa Core came out 2014 for the, uh, I, I would say, the PS3 and Xbox 360 first. Then Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. And Sniper Elite 4 Italia, that's the first one I played in the series. Came out 2017 for the PS4 and Xbox One. So the series has been around a lot. Um, I'm surprised I slept on it for this long. I didn't. I always saw it on the shelves at GameStop and everywhere, but I just always assumed since it was a sniper game, it was nothing more than um, uh, trial and error. You know, you have to. You're. It's always a stealth game. You know, you always have to be in stealth and. You know, all you have is your trusty sniper rifle, but this series is nothing like that. I mean, you can go ahead and be Rambo if you want. What the fuck? The hell? My phone's got a mind of its own. Alright, uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so the series is actually uh, nothing like I said it, I thought it would be. I really enjoyed it. You can be uh, Mr. Sniper or you can be, be uh, Rambo if you want. I kind of mixed it up a little bit when I got tired of being, you know, Mr. Stealth. I just went out and just started smoking people and throwing grenades. Um, so impressions of my games, uh, they're all similar, which is because I decided to do all these games at once. Um, all the games have around eight to nine missions. Each mission lasts around uh, one hour in cadet mode, which is normal. Um, Sniper Elite 3, to me, had the most challenging levels, with uh, followed by the second one and then the four, fourth one. Um, the third one is actually Sniper Elite 3 uh, Africa Core, which, when I first looked at it, I'm thinking, you know, how many how many levels can you play in the desert, you know, just sand and shit and, and uh, tents. But I was really, uh, really surprised. They did a really good job. Um, shocked me, a matter of fact. But Sniper Elite 3 definitely uh, had the best gameplay, level design. Um, graphically, the third, the third and fourth one. Well, obviously the fourth one has the best because it was designed for uh, the PS4 and Xbox One. Followed by three, and the second one looks just like a the PS3 game, just a port of a PS3 game on, or in this case, the port of an Xbox 360 game on Xbox One. It looked pretty rough in some spots, put that way. Um, so graphically, they're they're not going to win any awards at the video game award show, if that's still a thing. Um, don't expect Dorito Poe to be handed in any uh, awards to uh, Rebellion Studios for that for uh, gra best best game and graphics. Uh, gameplay, you know, they're all similar. You're just a badass sniper uh, told to go here and smoke this guy or get this plans or blow this rocket up or something. 
but it's up to you how you do it. You know, if you want to, you know, get him from, snipe him from a certain vantage point to you, uh, you know, get the kind of mission over quick. You really got to know how to handle the rifle and the ballistics of the bullet and all that. Or if you're like me, you just run around and just kill everybody till you get to him and maybe throw a grenade at him or something or get him get him uh, from behind stealth-wise. It's up to you. So um, they send you into battle with one sniper rifle, one assault rifle, handgun, mines, grenades. You can mix and match a little bit. You can try different sniper rifles or uh, assault rifles. But to me, I use the Mosin Nagat. Uh, because I got, actually got really good with it in all the games, so I stuck with that. I think I changed the reticle up once or twice. You can change the colors and stuff like that all you want, but it didn't really affect the the uh, bullet bullet ballistics or anything. <coughs> um, there's plenty of ammo. You never really run out of ammo or grenades. There's plenty of stuff you can find. Um, the enemy's kind enough to leave ammo crates all over the levels for you so you run out of bullets there's plenty of shit to blow up you know red barrels um, shoot tanks in the certain areas of you know where they keep you know gas gas tanks and there's uh, trucks you can blow up plenty of shit to blow up I had fun with that actually um, other than that you know like I said that they're all basically the same Unlocking upgrades, I think they tried it in 4, but I didn't use it. I didn't really feel a need to use um, the upgrades. A lot of it was uh, cosmetic, if I remember correctly. And there is multiplayer on 4, 3. I played a little bit of uh, multiplayer on 4. Not, my, my, not really my cup of tea. Um, it looked like there were some people enjoying it because they were pretty high up as far as the rank goes. They had a good time, you know, smoking me whenever they got a chance. But other than that, I, yeah, just like I said, I decided to uh, do a quick review on these games because I think it's a really fun series and I slept on it for this long. And hopefully uh, some people watch this, you, you know, you maybe go to GameStop, pick up a game. Um, they're relatively cheap. I think I paid $30 for the newest one. It's probably even cheaper now. So if you're like me, you know, you don't have a lot of time to play games and you just want to maybe sit down for an hour uh, when you get home from work or whatever on the weekend and shoot some shit up, this is your series. You'll have fun, trust me. It's a lot of fun. Um, when I got killed, I didn't didn't get discouraged or pissed off. I was like, well, I'll just find a new way around. Um let me play around with this. Let me let me set up some um, ambushes with some trip mines and stuff. Uh, the enemy AI isn't all that bright though. It's pretty bad in some areas. I think three was probably the worst, which is maybe why I liked it that much. I don't know. But if I had to rank, rank them, I would say uh, Sniper Elite three, Sniper Elite four, and then the uh, two for uh, gameplay overall. That's what I would do. I would, I would, if I were to recommend a game, I would say uh, pick up three Africa Core first and play that. I played them in um, the order. I played it four. I bought Italia first, and then I bought the second one. Then I went and got the third one. So the third one was the last one I played. <clears throat> so there you go. That's my take. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Um, so you got any questions, feel free. Like I said, Definitely worth a playthrough, so go out and grab it. Um, you probably find them cheaper even on eBay. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, like I say, if you got any questions, feel free. See ya.